good morning good morning good morning good morning so today's good friday absolutely beautiful um i have already taken a shower and stuff like that i just need to change do my devotions and eat breakfast it's currently quarter past five um i need to leave at quarter past six because today i'm on a church sweetie and i'm gonna be serving i'm gonna show you guys my outfit my outfit is here on the bed though yeah it's right here on the bed i'm still thinking whether i want to wear a skirt or pants but i am leaning towards wearing a skirt i'm not gonna need to wear pants so let us go and do devotions and i'm gonna get changed and may the day and games begin So guys, I just thought that I should share this devotion. It's such a beautiful, beautiful devotion. So this one, the topic for today is have confidence in God. No unbelief or distrust made him waver concerning the promise of God. But he grew strong and was empowered by faith as he gave praise and glory to God. Fully satisfied and assured that God was able and mighty to keep his word and to do what he had promised. This is taken from Romans 4 verses 20 to 21. No one believed David could defeat the giant, but David wasn't discouraged. David had sought the Lord early, which gave him confidence in God to do what he was supposed to do that day. When David killed Goliath, he ran quickly to the battlefield and proclaimed victory in the name of the living God. People who rise early and seek God go forth to do what they must do with courage. Ask God for confidence to slay any giants in your life that have set themselves against God's plan for you. How beautiful. How beautiful. I think what I really needed to hear, just in general, the title is titled have confidence in god i think sometimes we limit god's ability you know and undermine his promises and feel like no but what if no but if if this didn't happen how is this going to and that's not our place you know like that's god's place and we shouldn't try to play savior in our lives it's just our place to believe him and trust him you know and have unwavering faith that everything will work out and you know as i was reading um the part where it says when David killed Goliath he ran quickly to the battlefield and proclaimed victory in the name of the living God you can see this reference in 1st Samuel 17 verses 20 to 54 such a beautiful beautiful thing you know I feel like when things go right in our lives sometimes we do forget to you know first of all give all praise to the most high which should be the most important thing and here we have David after killing this huge thing like he ran he didn't just walk in and say no let me go this man ran to go and rejoice and give all praise to the most high you know such a beautiful thing and you know it reminds me of romans 8 28 all things work together for all those who are um good and purposed for the glory of god when things are for god's glory listen they're gonna work out because god gets glory for the things that he does you know it is his hand working in our lives and we must never forget to give him all the praise when things work out and just a beautiful example of how that's exactly what david did you know and he was empowered he had unwavering faith and this is because he made it a habit to always seek the lord good and early and you know it depends how you can look at the statement David had sought the Lord early, which gave him confidence in God to do what he was supposed to do that day. Early can mean in the morning, it can mean in advance, you know, like a habitual, like a habitual thing. Constantly seeking the Lord, like first thing in the morning, and if not only that, always seeking Him in advance. And, you know, we do not know the things that we need to pray for, but the Holy Spirit prays through us. You find yourself praying for things through the Holy Spirit. 
things that you didn't even know you were going to pray for and in that way you're praying for things in advance you know like you're constantly seeking the lord in his face and first thing in the morning you dedicate your day to god and he directs you on the right path and they are slaying the giants you know it's important that we try and pick up our crosses every single morning and fight our idols knock them down and seek his kingdom you know pick up your cross don't get discouraged Mwah. So guys, I'm going to be moisturizing my hair with this as well as with this. I really, really like this 61 leave-in conditioner. I'm also going to be spraying my hair with this. This is like oil and water like mixed. I just shipped the concoction so that it doesn't look questionable. Just like that, uh, I did my hair. My hair is done. I'm going to go make breakfast now before I start running late because I need to get to church. Bro, like I am, I don't want to say I'm running late, but like if I make oats, I'm gonna definitely be running late. And I'm driving, so I'm not gonna be able to eat in the car. I'm probably gonna make like a roll or something. As much as I want to make oats, I feel like it's a bad idea. I'm just gonna make a roll, tea, tea, grab a yogurt and a banana because I'm gonna arrive there a bit early and I'll eat in the car. Yeah. So I'm going to be using my special occasions perfume which is Coach Dreams and also using its lotion because period, why not right? So this is the OOTD, I'm carrying my bag and wearing my eyes to have shirt because I'm serving today and I'm wearing these white shoes of mine which are from H&M, skirt is from Sheen. Okay guys, so I just got to church, well actually a while ago, I just couldn't film because I was late. I had to go inside the auditorium and pray and stuff. Finishing off my tea and then I'm gonna go and serve. I'm not gonna be able to film this part obviously because I am greeting people and stuff like that. So we'll try and see what I can show you. is now reaching its fulfillment across humanity and, and I'm so grateful that even though that is happening if we put our hands on Jesus and we put our hope and we believe in who Jesus is that we don't have to live this narrative for our story the story of our life should I say and I want to encourage us now that, that, that the cross of Jesus reminds us that, that God put the curse of sin on Jesus it was placed on Jesus and God placed all of man's sin and put the curse on his son Jesus which is a big thing because the, I love what you First of all, sweetie, blessed and highly favored, period. Um, I'm in a good mood, as you can tell. Because happy Passover, hashtag Jesus is the one. Not the two, not the three, but the one. Anyways, guys, so I just come back from church. It is actually quite late. It's actually 20 past 12. So let me explain, right? I went to first service, but I was serving at first service, which I couldn't really capture content, obviously, because I was serving. I was like on duty, basically. So yeah, it was tricky. And so i i missed like part of like not the sermon but the service and i wasn't content and so i stayed for the second service so that i can like be involved from like praise and worship to the sermon although i listen to it again there's just something about listening to it twice as well because things are phrased differently you hear things differently and it speaks to different parts of you you know so really happy about that um so now i actually want to 
and my make cross buns like listen from scratch okay and then i want to share like my little it's not my recipe i actually got this recipe on instagram where's my phone okay guys so i got this recipe from cooking with Hai sang on instagram a big shout out to Hai sang which i assume is the cook's the chef's name i took the recipe from there so this is the recipe i'm going to be attempting to make they look absolutely scrumptious just look at that look at that beautiful so i'm gonna be attempting to make these cross buns so let's go ahead and get in the spread i'm just gonna change um yeah and then i'm gonna i'm gonna l2m as i make my food you know l2m bbm language guys i'm gonna listen to music <laughs> uh this is the second ootd simply because bro it is so hot and i want to be comfortable you know and stuff so we're girl boss building an empire right now let us go Just had a very like he high ish moment. First of all, I forgot to put on my retainer ever since I ate lunch. Secondly, my mom doesn't want to help me cook, so like I have to cook and like bro, I'm not mentally prepared for that. It's fine. Um, as the cross buns are outside rising, I'm just gonna start cooking. I want to be finished by four. I'm lying, half past four. Yeah, half past four, I'll be finished. Um, here's the final outcome. Do let me know in the comments how you guys think I did. By the way, your girl does not bake. Let's not be too harsh, guys. Your girl does not bake, so yeah. Do let me know what you guys think. We will do a taste test soon. Taste test. Good morning guys um today is another day today's saturday it's the next day obviously <laughs> um i woke up not so long ago actually funny story i woke up at like five and i went back to sleep because i'm on holiday you understand i'm really treating anyways i'm trying to treat this weekend as like a sacred weekend usually i do work on a saturday but no we're not doing that today no um I was about to go and brush my teeth that's why my retainer's not on you know cheese and then i thought to myself wait no i didn't greet the people like i didn't greet my faithful members good morning uh, you know so the weather today is, is quite cloudy and i'm going to my cousin's wedding now it is in kruger's dorp kruger's dorp is like an hour and a half drive the weather there and here can be totally different things but i'm gonna i'm gonna wear pants i decided like no dude like my outfit thingy is just too tricky right now and i'm gonna make sure that i'm warm i am gonna be wearing a sandal of a shoe but i'm gonna take a changing shoe that's flat simply because like my foot has been really painful for a week and a few days and guys i can't wear flat shoes to a wedding come on now i can wear heels and then change the flats though that's different so so yeah i'm just gonna like get ready you know um take a shower the wedding is at three o'clock mind you it's like it's nine in the morning right now so i i do have some time i will catch up with you guys as soon as i have you know like brushed my teeth and like taken a shower you know those things those things so guys i just finished doing my devotions it is so cloudy bro it is so cloudy and then i'm just gonna watch um netflix until it's time to change to leave for the wedding and stuff it's like what's the time even now it's like 10 something yeah it's 10 15 it's got past 10 so i'll probably like catch you when i'm getting ready to leave because i want to charge my camera as well so i'm not gonna film the moments up until the wedding so
just been Netflixing. I lost track of time. We're leaving in 10 minutes. Your girl is not dressed. I just my blanket. I was just chilling. My <laughs> Let me just get dressed and I'm catch you guys after. Like, bro. <laughs> Granted the weather, I just decided to wear this uh, suit of mine with my shoes from Ego. I was gonna wear it with my red shoes, but like they're not comfortable. <laughs> so I just decided that I'm choosing comfort. Um, and I'm also gonna take these flat shoes of mine. Yeah, I'm gonna take these flat shoes of mine because even though this is more or less a baby heel, like bro, it's raining and I just wanna be, you know, I wanna be comfortable. And I just decided I'm gonna take this bag because as much as I want to look cute, I'm trying to be practical and I need to fit things in that bag, so yeah. So guys, we have arrived at the wedding. It's like, we are very, very early. We're like 45 minutes early and... Mm, I don't like being early for things like weddings because I don't know if it's me but every wedding I've gone to it's always late but your girl is dressed or whatever you know so let us head inside here me and the flower girls literally dressed in flowers show them your flowers show them your flowers mm. flowers flowers yes <laughs> Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with truth. Do not be afraid, for I know that you seek the Jesus who was crucified. He is not here. He is risen. Good morning, lovelies. Good morning, good morning. He is risen. Today is Resurrection Sunday. So I've already um, 
obviously I uh, did my bed, woke up, showered and after my devotions so 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 lovely like do take the time I know when you're watching this is not Easter but you're more than welcome to still do it you know and visit a Matthew 28 and just like you know be in that in that moment and just meditate on that um, that verse so so beautiful man the tomb is empty fam the tomb is it's empty like like I'm so happy like I'm so happy I am gonna go and change and eat breakfast it's like half past eight or something like that or 20 to 9 I'm gonna go for the 10 o'clock service um yeah so i just want to make sure that i'm not late i leave earlier because like church is a bit far you feel me like it's like a 20 minute drive so i want to make sure that i leave by quarter past nine latest no because i want to sit i want to sit like in the middle slash frontish because i want to see you feel me <laughs> i'm gonna take you guys to church with me of course hey guys so as per my easter haul this was for real my easter outfit you know my hashtag he's risen outfit yes dress up for jesus you know the vibes so i'm wearing these wedges of mine from fashion nova as well as this dress from fashion nova i will insert the whole link up here or up here and also in the description box down below and you guys can go and check out this pretty little dress of mine and you know like see it properly with great lights leftovers from the other day i'm eating like a small little lunch or whatever and of course i'm having my favorite vanilla cappuccino by jacobs because jacobs is the one i'm gonna be watching like um netflix just to buy time while i eat and stuff like bro the way we came back so late even my mom is taking a nap i unfortunately don't do naps otherwise like i'll mess up my my schedule for good um yeah so i'm just gonna like watch tv by some time and i have um movie night at church from five to seven it's currently 20 to two so i'm just gonna buy time on netflix um and see if i can like I don't want to like cook anything no i'm gonna cook i'm gonna see like what i can cook some things have already been prepared so like i'm gonna see what i can cook with the time that i have left you know for our he is risen meal okay guys i'm wearing a very i look like a chocolate mint a mint flavored chocolate it's fine <laughs> i'm wearing this two piece of mine and my air forces and i'm wearing this jacket of mine my whole outfit is from F fashion over except the shoes obviously because once business twice shy i'm not about to be cold for the second time let's head out And just like that guys it's a wrap it's a wrap it's a wrap it's a wrap i truly hope that you guys enjoyed this little um easter weekend in my life not that it was like little three days bro but um yeah thank you so much for watching this video please don't forget to give this video a like don't forget to comment and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed have a good day and god bless you